I give you one of the tables on financial transactions, um, and you can see that um, there are several, there are very complex financial transactions in which even the poorest people are involved. This is um, over four years, 40 households. Um, they are total 124 episodes, but the number, the amount is pretty large. And quite interestingly, in the first cases, illness, um, it's a necessity, you know, that this is, and I have other papers where I show why is it that illnesses actually become um, emergencies. It's not inherent that they would become emergencies. It's the actual medical environment in which they live, in which there is a very high use of practitioners, but it might take a practitioner anything up to, um, you know, uh, even with all the advertisement about dots and tuberculosis, it may take anything up to six months for a practitioner to actually diagnose somebody as having uh, TB. Normally, they will think these are just small episodes of viral fever or cold or cough or something else till it becomes an emergency. So when it becomes an emergency, huge amounts of money have to be actually borrowed. Uh, how, so, there, so there is very interestingly illness. The 34 episodes of borrowing on food happen in the same small cluster of households who are actually the poorest. And that's the point. When you have to begin to borrow for food, that it becomes very hard for them to get out of the debt cycle. These are the four households who probably over a period of time will have to go back to the village or send, their, send the wife and child back to the village and so on. But equally, um, there are, uh, there's only one episode of borrowing for alcohol. Uh, but, of course, alcohol use is totally rampant. But what's very interesting is that there are 16 episodes of uh, borrowing for um, consumer goods. And that's the kind of thing in which people might go and, these are new things which they would have, uh, which they would have bought. There are also some borrowings for housing, so that sometimes, you know, this can be something very small and is again always related to a particular contingency. For example, a household in which a theft occurred will decide that they need to put a door. And that is an urgent thing that they need to put a door and therefore they will go and put that, right? Um, so that just tends to show you the fact that illness, food, consumer goods, housing. The other is, of course, village-related expenditure. That is somebody in the village uh, there's a village festival and you need to borrow uh, for that. Um, but other can also include, as I said, these are very um, uh, distributed kinds of, um, uh, uh, kinds of episodes. But uh, you can see that the division in a certain sense is some which are absolutely necessary because a household will fall into a certain kind of risk. But some are related to desires for uh, you know, consumer goods or desires for religious festivities or desires for participating and sending money to the village. So as I said, the debt episodes show high volume of diversity of financial transactions. Now what is interesting is that a lot of people have written about the fact that the interest rates tend to be extremely high. And indeed they can be something like, you know, up to 60%, but people don't realize that these are very high interest rates. And the reason is that no one borrows for the whole year. So in fact, there's a very interesting trick which happens when we annualize it. We say, oh, this is very huge, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, transaction cost that they are actually paying. But in fact, what is happening is series of cycles by which you are borrowing from somebody, you're returning it to him, and then you are probably going to a relative or a friend and borrowing again. So that in a certain way for them, what is very interesting is the uh, fact that the temporality is enmeshed with forms of so sociality that privilege the immediate future. They don't privilege a longer future, not what will happen in the whole year, but what is it that will happen next day or what will, or in one month or in a few weeks. So usually when they borrow, they'll say, you know, I'll return it in two weeks. And sometimes, of course, it happens that a person cannot return it, but 
uh, you know, as I said, that till now there are only four households out of this 40 who have fall, fallen into the kind of situation in which, since they have not been able to return the money that they had borrowed, they had slowly fallen into the situation in which they are borrowing for um, food. 